Lawrence Oakley, born December 16, 1992, is a British professional boxer who held the World Boxing Organization, WBO, cruiserweight title from 2021 to May 2023. At regional level, he held the Commonwealth title twice between 2018 and 2019, the British title from 2018 to 2019, and the European title in 2019. As of July 2022, he is ranked as the world's second best active cruiserweight by the Ring Magazine, third by the Transnational Boxing Rankings Board, and BoxRec. Oakley is a supporter of BoxWise, a UK based non profit social enterprise based around boxing. Early life Oakley was born in Hackney, London to Nigerian parents of Igbo descent. He grew up in Stoke Newington and attended Stoke Newington School. While watching Anthony Joshua fighting in the 2012 Summer Olympics Super Heavyweight Final, Oakley decided to take boxing seriously and set a goal to make the 2016 Olympics. Amateur career he represented Team GB as a heavyweight at the 2016 Rio Olympics. He beat Igor Paweł Jakubowski from Poland on points and made it to the round of 16, where he lost to eventual bronze medalist Arislandi Savon of Cuba. Professional career Early career on January 18, 2017, Oakley announced his decision to turn professional, signing with Eddie Hearn and Matchroom Sport to compete in the cruiserweight division. His first professional fight took place at the Manchester Arena in Manchester on March 25, 2017. It was on the undercard for the Jorge Linares vs. Anthony Kralla lightweight world championship fight. His opponent was 33-year-old Jeffrey Cave, who had a record of no wins and two losses. The fight lasted 20 seconds and ended after Oakley landed two right hooks to the head of Cave. The referee stopped the fight immediately. His next bout took place in Glasgow, Scotland at the SSE Hydro on April 15 as part of the undercard for the World Ricky Burns vs. Julius Ndongo Super Lightweight Unification Fight. He fought 35-year-old journeyman Lakash Ruziwich. Oakley knocked Ruziwich down twice in round one en route to a first-round stoppage. The time of stoppage was 2 minutes and 36 seconds. Oakley was scheduled to fight on the undercard of the mega heavyweight fight Anthony Joshua vs. Vladimir Klitschko on April 29 at the Wembley Stadium in London. On April 25, it was announced that he would fight Russell Henshaw, 7-4 with two knockouts, who he was supposed to fight on his debut. On the night, Oakley tweeted that he would no longer be fighting on the undercard. The reason for this was due to Wembley Council having a curfew of 11 p.m. and the main event was due to start at 10 p.m. The other fights on the undercard went longer than expected. Oakley fought on the Kell Brook vs. Errol Spence Jr. IBF world title undercard at Bramall Lane in Sheffield on May 27, defeating Rudolf Halizic in the first round. Halizic was knocked down twice prior to the stoppage. On July 1st, Oakley recorded his fourth straight first-round stoppage win against Russell Henshaw. The fight was stopped after 2 minutes and 10 seconds into the round. It was announced that Oakley would appear on the next-gen card on September 1, 2017, at the York Hall in London. Other prospects on the card included Connor Benn and fellow Olympians Joshua Boatsy and Joe Cordina. Oakley went the six-round distance for the first time in his career against Blazeman Duo. He lost one round on the referee's scorecard, winning 59-54. Oakley was also taken past the first round for the first time in his professional career. In round four, Menduo was dropped by a big right hand. Following the win, Oakley spoke to Sky Sports about going the distance, it was useful to go the rounds, but was tough against an awkward opponent. It was a little bit scrappy. I couldn't get the rhythm of my opponent. I knew that this guy would be a lot more difficult than some of the other cruiserweight prospects. Oakley next fought on October 28 on the Anthony Joshua vs. Carlos Takam undercard at the Principality Stadium in Cardiff, Wales. His opponent was 36-year-old Adam Williams. Oakley stopped Williams in the third round, extending his unbeaten record. Oakley vs. Chamberlain Oakley next fought on December 13, 2017, closing off his first year as a professional at the York Hall in London. His opponent was Antonio Souza in a six-round bout. 
Starting off with a stiff jab, Oakley dropped Souza twice in round one and twice in round two before the referee stepped in at one minute and four seconds. After the fight, speaking on rival Isaac Chamberlain, he said, he and Ted Bammy are two cowards. He's calling me his easiest fight, he's saying stuff online. Here's the fight in February, let's go. On December 19, Sky Sports confirmed Oakley would fight Chamberlain on February 3, 2018 at the O2 Arena. The fighters had been calling each other out on social media over the months before the fight was finally signed. In January 2018, the WBA sanctioned the fight for their vacant Continental Cruiserweight title. In front of 8,000 fans in attendance, Oakley scored a quick knockdown in the opening round, en route to a dominant one-sided unanimous decision, UD, win to capture the vacant WBA Continental title. In round two, after being warned a number of times, Chamberlain was docked a point for continuous holding. In round six, Oakley landed a right hand to Chamberlain, forcing his glove to touch the canvas for a second knockdown. Oakley also had a point deducted in round nine. After 10 rounds, the judges' scorecards read 98 to 89, 97 to 89, and 96 to 90 in favor of Oakley. After the fight, Oakley called out Welsh boxer Craig Kennedy, 16-1 with eight knockouts, for a fight on the Anthony Joshua vs. Joseph Parker undercard. The card averaged 230,000 viewers on Sky Sports, Oakley vs. Watkins on April 16, 2018, Commonwealth Cruiserweight Champion Luke Watkins, 13-0, 9 KOs, called out Oakley for a fight in the future. Nine days later, the Swindon Advertiser reported that Oakley's promoter, Eddie Hearn, had given the bout the green light to go ahead. On April 26, a deal had been agreed for the fight to take place on June 6 at the York Hall in London. Oakley dropped Watkins twice on his way to a third round. Stoppage Victory Referee Michael Alexander stopped the fight at 1 minute 40 seconds of the round. After the bout, Hearn stated the Commonwealth mandatory challenger, Wadi Camacho, 20-7 with 12 knockouts, would likely be Oakley's only title defense before moving on to the British and European titles. Oakley vs. a skin on July 12, 2018, the British Boxing Board of Control, BB Bofsi, ordered for Matty a skin, 23-3-1, 15 KOs, to make a mandatory defense of his British cruiserweight title against Oakley by the end of November 2018. A purse bid was set for 8 August. On August 7, Eddie Hearn announced the fight was confirmed and would take place on the Anthony Joshua vs. Alexander Povetkin undercard on September 22 at the Wembley Stadium in London on Sky Sports box office. Prior to the fight being made, Oakley vacated the Commonwealth Cruiserweight title. In what was described as an ugly fight, Oakley defeated a skin via UD to claim the British Cruiserweight title. The final scorecards read 116 to 110, 114 to 112, and 114 to 113 in Oakley's favor. Oakley lost a total of three points in fouls. During the middle rounds there was a lot of holding and wrestling. Oakley began using his head on the inside which resulted in him losing points. Oakley vs Ngabu on October 26, 2019 Oakley fought Eve Ngabu, ranked number 9 by the IBF, number 12 by the WBO and number 13 by the WBA at cruiserweight. Oakley won the fight via 7th round TKO. WBO Cruiserweight Champion Oakley vs. Jasevsky, Glowacki at the WBO Federation Convention in Tokyo in December 2019, it was decided that the Polish former two-time cruiserweight champion Krzysztof Glowacki would face Oakley for the vacant WBO Cruiserweight title, and a bout between them was ordered. They had been scheduled to face each other on the undercard of Anthony Joshua vs. Kubrat Pulov on December 12, 2020, but the fight was postponed when Glowacki tested positive for COVID-19. As a result, Oakley instead faced Nikodem Jasevsky, also from Poland, and he won via second-round technical knockout after dropping Jasevsky three times, winning the vacant WBO International Cruiserweight title. The Oakley vs. Glowacki world title bout was rescheduled for March 20, 2021, and was won by Oakley via sixth-round knockout. 
Glowacki was ranked number one by the WBO and number three by the ring at cruiserweight. He conveyed his happiness at winning his first world title in his post-fight interview, saying, Obviously I'm happy, I feel blessed. It's amazing to be able to put an exclamation mark on my life with a world title. Oakley also revealed that his promoter Eddie Hearn had made a deal with him, promising to buy him a watch if he succeeded in becoming a world champion. Four or five years ago, Eddie Hearn saw a boy from Hackney and said if you win a world title, I'll buy you a gold Rolex Skydweller. Now I want my Skydweller. And he said I'd get another one if I unify, too. Oakley vs. Presovic Oakley made the first defense of his WBO cruiserweight title against WBO's number one contender, Dylan Presovic, on September 25, 2021 on the undercard of Anthony Joshua vs. Alexander Yusik. Oakley retained his title, winning by third-round knockout. Oakley vs. C-Slack It was announced on January 7, 2022, that Oakley would make his second WBO title defense against Michael C-Slack, who was at the time the number three ranked WBO cruiserweight contender on 27 February 2022, 47, Oakley was seen as the 1-9 favorite to retain his title, while bookmakers had C-Slack as the 9-2 underdog, in a scrappy bout that featured a lot of grappling and rabbit punches, Oakley retained his world title with a unanimous decision victory, with judges' scorecards of 117. 110, 116 to 111 and 115 to 112 in his favor. Oakley vs. Billum Smith Oakley fought longtime friend Chris Billum Smith at the Vitality Stadium in Bournemouth on May 27, 2023. The fight was marred by a succession of warnings and two points deducted for Oakley for holding and grappling. Billum Smith knocked Oakley down three times during the fight and won a majority decision. Two judges scored the bout 116 to 107 and 115 to 108 in favor of Billum Smith, while the third judge scored it even at 112 112. WBC Bridgerweight Championship Oakley vs. Rosansky on May 24, 2024, in Rosasso, Poland. Oakley is scheduled to challenge Lukasz Rosansky for WBC Bridgerweight title.